channel it's your girl Shay Monet if you're new here make sure you click that subscribe button that like button and that share button and subscribe okay so today I will be reviewing Middle Eastern fragrances I know it's been talked about all over the internet all over social media literally everywhere even TikTok Instagram mainly TikTok so right basically all social media platforms I was like okay let me see you know what these Middle Eastern fragrances are all about and what they're giving I have about six fragrances that I've decided to you know review do a haul on I'll share my thoughts and rate these perfumes from my standpoint I know a lot of people you know they may say it smells good but to another person it may not you know whatever so I just thought that I would do this video and review them here's a review I just have my notes to make sure everything is right in front of me yeah, the first fragrance this is a heavy hitter all the girls on perfume TikTok, talk about this fragrance okay it's like the most popular one when i was first introduced to middle eastern fragrances this was one of the first ones that i decided to purchase this one's called shaga food and it's by swiss arabian this is a unisex scent so a woman or a man can buy it and wear it i've noticed a lot of middle eastern fragrances can go you know both ways it can go for a man or a woman or if you're masculine or feminine not only can you wear them by themselves you can also layer them i thought that was pretty cool too this one i heard is pretty strong you only need about a good two two and a half sprays okay <laughs> the projection is amazing it stays on your clothes for weeks and even when you wash them they're still there okay so like I told you guys it is a unisex scent the price that I paid for is $28.99 yes $28.99 okay majority that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys are affordable but that does not take away from the performance and the projection okay we love that the price is $28.99, but however, I ordered mine off of Amazon, but don't worry, all of these will be linked down below. And of course, it ranges from each seller on Amazon. If you decide to order it off Amazon, I know you can purchase off of Joma Shop and all those other sites or the actual Swiss Arabian site. I got a 3.4 ounce, which is 75 milliliter okay so get into this packaging y'all look at this like oh my gosh look at this like one thing about middle eastern fragrances they're going to give you some packaging okay the packaging is going to be stunning texturing is like out of this world and i'm glad it's nighttime um so you guys can see the lighting even better on the packaging now, one thing about the bottle is that if you have oil on your hands, the residue from your hands does kind of, you know, mess up the reflection on the bottle. As far as fingerprints, look at the bottle. The bottle is just stunning. And then the top has a little engraving going on. And then at the top of the bottle, it has the initials of Swiss Arabian. And then the back has the little engraving too. I mean, and it's heavy guys. Very, very, very dense. To be so affordable, the packaging is just so immaculate. Like, the top off, of course, you just have the nozzle here. Hope you guys can see that. You guys, I can smell it from here. You have to get your hands on this. You have to get your hands on this. So with that being said, I'm going to go into some notes so you guys can get a feel of smell of the fragrance. Okay, so this fragrance here is a amber fragrance for men and women. So like I told you guys earlier, this is unisex. The main accords are sweet, oud, vanilla, rose, warm, spicy, latonic, nutty metallic and powdery it has saffron as the top notes the middle notes are argyle wood which is oud rose more 
our godwood. It has double food in it. Praline and vanilla. I definitely get the praline in it. Mixed with the oud, I definitely smell the metallic in it. And I haven't even sprayed it yet. Just based off just opening the top, I could definitely smell the um, oud, which is the argyre wood. I hope I'm saying it right. And the praline, very sweet, but you get that metallic woodsy type of scent, incense type of smell. And I only want to tell you guys the um, notes of this, but I also wanted to, you know, let you guys know whether it's something for the winter, the summer, night, day. You know, this is a full review here. You want to get everything, all the tea here, okay? This is a more fall and winter scent, which I do agree. This is a very strong scent, okay? And I just don't see it being worn during the daytime, and I don't see it being worn in the summer or spring or the hotter months i don't see this being worn you could try to pull it off you know a date night in this you know summer nights or spring nights but i definitely feel like you can get its full worth in the colder months and at night okay so we're going to get ready to the exciting part and we're going to actually spray it out so i can give you my experience based off the notes so i'm going to take one of my tester strips and spray it Okay, so I'm gonna give you my true opinion. Okay, so if I was smelling this for the first time, you definitely get first the metallic. You get this praline, the sweet goodness mixed with that metallic saffron. You definitely get double the oud. Oh, it's just, it's amazing. It's sweet, but it definitely has that metallic oudness to it. They said it's rose in here. I guess you can smell the rose, but I personally get the rose if I see that it's rose in there. I personally don't smell it until I know it's in there, if that makes sense. I definitely get the praline in the oud in the metallic note. Definitely saffron as well. Should you buy it or should you not buy it? Now, they say it's unisex. At first I had to start there. They say it's unisex, but to me, I feel like this leans more to the feminine side. But I definitely can see why they say unisex. I would rate this definitely a 9 out of 10. I mean, it's just it's so good. And it's definitely a holiday scent. I definitely can see somebody wearing this for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, a Christmas party. Oh, it's just it's just good. It's getting holiday goodness, okay? Because that praline note is great. Say get your hands on Shaga Food by Swiss Array. Okay, so the next fragrance is kind of interesting because I feel like this next fragrance is the more masculine version of the one I just showed you guys. It's so fun. The first one, Shaga Food by Swiss Arabian, is more on the feminine side. This next one, I wouldn't say exact same, but it's very identical to each other don't want to smell on the the feminine side then this next one would definitely give you that masculine touch so that leads me to say the next fragrance is called oud mood by latafa it's definitely a unisex scent but this is more on the masculine side but it's still unisex so a man or woman can wear it like i said i've worn this as well and you can always layer it with something even sweeter if you want to make it smell more thick. Okay, so I'm going to show it to you guys. Like I told you guys earlier, one thing about Middle Eastern fragrances. Listen, honey. And it has like the little top. Like, look at this. It's almost like a purse. Like, I literally have had these fragrances for like at least almost a month and a half. And I don't even know if I want to throw away the packaging. You open the top, just like that. And then inside is the fragrance. And then of course, I forgot to show you guys on the back, it has all the um, ingredients and stuff like that. And a warning label in the website. And then on the side, it has the seal to let you know that it is authentic. So, and I remember on tick Perfume Talk, aka Perfume TikTok, it was saying that most of these Middle Eastern fragrances have a seal on it to let you know, just to verify that it is authentic and real. Let's open it. So, when you 
take it out. Be very careful because this is very heavy, it's glass. So again, look at the packaging. I just feel like my outfit just fits the vibe. Classy, smell good, feel good, look good, okay? So look, this is the packaging. I always say when juice is dark of a perfume, it's going to get rich, deep, maybe even sweet, decadent, scent, or around the ribbon detailing here all around, even on the back. And then it has satin labeling on the front and it just says oud mood. And yeah, and then you take the top off. The top also has an engraving too that says La Tapa. And then on tight, okay guys? And then of course it's just a regular nozzle, okay? Packaging, top tier. Love it, love to sew. We take the top off. This is another one that just, hits you once you take the top off okay and this is how you know when perfumers tell you that it's going to last you can smell it right when you open the top very strong i want to get into the pricing with you guys the notes and all of that i paid 31.64 for this yes 31.64 i purchased this fragrance off of amazon so of course it's going to you know range from each seller on amazon and also you can range from any perfume site that you decide to purchase it on if not amazon very dense bottle it's glass very steady not cheaply made at all i mean it's very heavy nozzle and everything just feels expensive and it smells expensive too it's a warm smoky vanilla very much so with doses of caramel this is an oriental sweet fragrance for men and women. So let's get into the main accord. It says that the main accords are amber, woody, oud, warm, spicy, and caramel, definitely caramel, balsamic, rose, floral, and smoky accord. It has rose, saffron, pimento, like pimento the pepper, yeah, pimento. Argar, wood, which is oud. It has caramel, floral notes, Patchouli, resins, amber, woody notes, incense, and musk. I would say that this fragrance is, again, another colder season scent. I would not wear this in the hotter months, in hotter seasons. If I do, it would probably be like at night. Right? For some reason, I'm getting citrus a little bit. Maybe it's the floral, floral mixed with the rose. Uh, I'm definitely getting wood, definitely getting oud, vanilla, definitely the caramel. It's like, you know, the top, middle, and base notes. It's like changing. So this is definitely one that changes as it settles in your skin and as you wear it, um, the longevity of it, it changes, of course, because that's why you have top, middle, and base notes. It's getting sweeter as it dries down. You definitely get more of the caramel in the resin and the amber with the hints of incense and musk. Definitely smell the patchouli mixed with that caramel as well. And definitely, of course, saffron. I noticed very popular for Middle Eastern fragrances to have either saffron or oud in them, which makes them smell so good and expensive. Um, it makes, I feel like that makes it stay longer. The longevity, it makes them project, you know, love it. It's definitely more masculine than Shagaf Oud for sure by Swiss Arabian. But both of them, you can't choose, guys. You can't choose between the two. It leads me to say, would I tell you guys to buy it or not to buy it? Definitely buy it, okay? You don't even have to wait on me to say that. This one, I would rate it a 8 out of 10. Only because I love Shagaf Oud. I love to smell sweet. Now, somebody else may rate it a 9 or a 10 but an eight isn't bad in my eyes, okay? This is still good. That's why I gave it an eight out of 10. I wouldn't go below eight. Okay, guys, so the next one is one of my favorites, okay? This one's called Ajwad by Latafa. Like, look at this. And this is the bag. I have to be careful because you open it from the side like a book. And then, of course, the seal is right there. And you can scan this. 
QR code back there for something and the website's at the bottom. Now, when you open it, look at this packaging. It just slides right open. So you have to be careful when you order this so you won't break it, but look at this. But everybody was like complaining about the like the wooden top. It was like, why is it so big? Why don't they choose to do that? I personally like that. I think it's it makes it different. It makes it look rich, even though the detailing is already rich itself. But I like it. That it's not a magnet or anything. Push it down. Maybe that's why, but it's so fruity, but saffron so take a guess how much do you think this one is write in the comments and let me know now don't cheat if you already own this you already know what's the price don't don't spoil it for everybody okay so this one was thirty dollars and 39 cents i paid right oh you get this the packaging and everything the fragrance for thirty dollars and 39 cents can't beat that right and the longevity guys and the projection i sent basically five people the link to this fragrance they was like oh my god that smells good this is a unisex scent quote unquote yes i said quote unquote because i feel like this scent is more on the feminine side i definitely feel like this is more for the ladies it's very feminine to me but hey anybody could wear it. it is a woody aromatic fragrance but with hints of sweet vanilla it's a perfume full of amber rose cinnamon definitely cinnamon you guys sandalwood yes and lots of fruit lots lots of fruit. for me it's almost like a lychee fruit note in there and i looked it up and it, it does have that lychee in there but i think it's other fruits mixed in with that lychee note as well so the main accords are fruity musky powdery it has amber, it's sweet, with vanilla, rose, white floral, it's woody, and animalic. For the top, middle, and base notes are fruity notes for the top notes. The middle notes are jasmine and rose, and the base notes are musk, amber, vanilla, and cedar. Definitely all of that. Like I said, I've already worn this like four times. Now this leads me to say, this fragrance is you could wear it to me you could wear it all year round however this is a good brunch scent as well i could see someone wear this to brunch a real classy cute brunch in the spring and summer but i also can see this being worn at night in the spring and summer too on the day as well as the colder months i definitely see when people say this is like summery because all of the fruit notes in it but to me like i said i wore it for my birthday my birthday is in the mid of november close to thanksgiving i personally think that i will wear this all year round this room is going to smell for weeks. I just know it's going to smell so well. Remember I wore this one time on a little date night. And that person was like, you smell good. What is that? It's so, it also gives me that metallic-y feel to it. Smell to it. Lots of fruit. I mean, it smells like a rich, saffrony, lychee martini. Does it have saffron? Let's see if it has saffron. It could be the cedar in it. It says there's no saffron in it, but for some reason I smell saffron. The witty accords and the animalic accords in it, but it smells like a fruity, rich lychee martini. If you ever had a lychee martini, then you know. You know you don't really like too much fruity going on that I wouldn't suggest this to you. But like I said, if you like the, that fruity type of rich, cocktail rich smelling vibe then this is for you i definitely would rate this a y'all know i want to give it a 10 out of 10 but if i had to give it lower than a 10 a 9.5 but to me it's a 10 okay okay so we have our fourth fragrance this one gives pure chocolate you can pair this definitely with your the cocoa butter, sweet vanilla fragrances, lotions, all of that. This is pure 
milk chocolate not dark chocolate but pure milk chocolate chocolate bar or some people also say that this fragrance smells like chocolate milk like a sweet luxury smooth chocolate milk to me i definitely can see where they're going with that i got for my birthday and this one is called choco musk by L Rehab or Rehab. This is uh, also a unisex scent, but like I said, if you love to smell sweet, decadent, chocolatey, then I will say, you know, use as your own discretion. So I wouldn't say it's for a man or woman, but it's sweet, okay? Like I said, a lot of these scents are unisex. It's just based off of your preference and what you would like to layer these with, because they are safe for layering. So I just wanted to let you guys know that as well. So this is how it looks like. Like I said, when the juice, the perfume juice is dark, it's most likely to smell sweet or decadent or just gourmandy or something about it's gonna be deep and rich. So that's what it looks like. And then it's just clear basic. And then you take the top off and it's just a nozzle and the top is clear. So I just want y'all to guess how much this fragrance was. Write down in the comments, guys. Like I said, no cheating. If you already know about this or you already know the cost of it, don't tell. Don't tell the people that don't know. I paid thirteen dollars and seventy cents. Well, I didn't. It was gifted to me, but I already had it in my cart. Of course, that's why I let the person know. Oh, I want this. It may range from different sellers on Amazon. I got this one from Amazon. The price may range, you know, depending on the perfume website or perfume seller you get it from. Let's get into these notes. This is a rich, smooth, milky and creamy milk chocolate, ambery vanilla fragrance for women or men. Very light scent. This is something that it projects, but not for a long time. Just giving you the true tease, honey. Doesn't last long, but let's just say it's going to be in your scent bubble. Like if you gave somebody a hug, if somebody sat next to you, you know, laying on you, like if your significant other is, you know, you guys are cuddling or they're, you just in a tight proximity, like someone sitting right next to you right here, they probably can smell you still. Now, if you're thinking about walking down the street and somebody can smell you from six feet, not unless you just sprayed it in the max of an hour and 30 or two hours max. Definitely, it's something I will wear, you know, if I was, chilling with you know you know a significant other you're dating talking to or if you, you want to just wear your cocoa butter your vanilla lotion you want something to layer with or you want to lay with another perfume let's get into the main accords the main accords are vanilla warm spice chocolate sweet powdery musky cacao and amber and balsamic okay so definitely has chocolate vanilla, warm spice, and cacao. So it has double the chocolate, cacao and milk chocolate. And so the fragrance notes are vanilla, milk chocolate, white musk, cinnamon, spicy notes, amber, sandalwood, myrrh, and rose. Would I wear this in the summer, the winter? You know, I definitely will wear this all year round. Sorry. <laughs> Um, like I said, in the summertime or the springtime, I will wear this at night. I will wear this at night, you know, like I said, a date night or a movie night with your significant other. You want to smell sweet, chocolatey, you know, that type of vibe, then yeah. But the colder months, most definitely. You could wear this night or day in the colder months, in the colder seasons. Okay, so next we're going to smell it. Okay, so let me be honest. I'm gonna spray one more time. Oh, wow. Pure milk chocolate. Definitely smell the vanilla, the cinnamon. I don't smell myrrh. I don't smell the myrrh, but I definitely smell the, the milk chocolate, the vanilla, the cinnamon. It is sort of musky. I smell the amber. I don't smell the rose, guys. But that milk chocolate with that vanilla and cinnamon and amber, wow. I would definitely want to smell this with vanilla lotion or 
like the Fenty uh, body butter that just came out with the cinnamon effect to it. Oh wow, like you would be a walking pastry. Now, would I suggest anybody to buy this? Definitely would recommend this. I feel like this is something that you should have if you wanna just have a chill little intimate vibe setting, wear it on a cute little date night, or just you just simply want to smell good at night you can even wear this to sleep honestly because it's not too strong that's why i said an intimate setting i definitely will rate this a eight eight and a half because of the milk chocolate vanilla and cinnamon eight eight point five I, at first I said eight because of the projection. It's not really a long lasting fragrance. However, it smells so good. Like I can see the stain on the skin though. You know, it might not project eight to 10 feet, you know, um, away. But however, it still, I still can see this pressing and stain on the skin and doing so well that leads me to say there is something you could do to make it you know more better as far as projection so this is a roll-on oil the roll-on oil was six dollars and ninety cents so together you're paying under 25 dollars for both and this is what the roll-on oil looks like And this one, it smells exactly like it. Like I said, it's the same brand, same everything. It's just the roll of oil. You now pair these to make it project a little more and stay more on the skin. So we're off to our fifth fragrance. Oh, so the next one is called Modest Pour Femme Doe by Afnan. This next fragrance is a women's scent. Um, this is not a um, unisex scent, however, like I said earlier in the beginning of this video, you know, it's up to your preference. So if you would like to wear this, no matter if you're a man or a woman, you that's solely up to you. You can wear, you can do whatever you want to do, honey, okay? But as far as the makers of this particular fragrance, they said that this is a woman's fragrance. Now I paid $30.89 for this fragrance. And like I said, I got all of these on Amazon. It's like a book. It literally looks like a book. The packaging is hard to get out. So you kind of have to like shake it like that. That's a good thing because you don't want your fragrance to fall out. First off, off the packaging first, before you even smell anything, the packaging is going to give you an experience in itself. Look at this. And then it has the top, middle, and base notes right here as well. You guys can see that, and then you have the perfume right here. This is the packaging. Keep it in the light so you guys can see how it reflects. You see that? So stunning. And then the top has like this little rhinestone here. Oh, it has a rhinestone at the top, gold plate right here, and then it has the gold nozzle. It states that this fragrance is for the woman who loves to smell rich, crisp, clean with a major fruity dark chocolate edible twist. So I definitely get that because when I wore it, a lot of the reviews, like I said, I'm gonna give you the honest tea. They were saying, oh, it smells like so chocolatey and fruity, like a chocolate covered raspberry, a chocolate covered strawberry. I didn't get that. I got dark chocolate. You know how earlier the Choco Musk by Al Rehab, it's that milk chocolate, but I noticed that this one has dark chocolate notes. So I had to take heed of that too. Cause I was like, wait, where's the milk chocolate? The main accords state that it's sweet, fruity, warm and spicy, mixed with patchouli, cherry, vanilla, chocolate, and wood. So it's woody as well. It's strawberry, cherry, dark chocolate, raspberry. The middle notes are vanilla and spices. And then the base notes are patchouli, gardenia, and musk. It was very crisp and clean, but not soapy clean. But it was like, I guess the patchouli cut that sweetness and dark chocolate. You know how patchouli is that note, fresh scent to it, but not soapy fresh. Almost like an earthy fresh to it's it. Definitely a nighttime scent. 
Now, as far as the weather and uh, what season, probably more towards the colder months. But if I was to wear this in the hotter months or seasons, it would be at night. It's fruity, but it's like boss chick type rich vibes, you know. You guys, it's, it smells great. It's definitely nighttime scent, definitely nighttime. I definitely smell the patchouli. I even smell the gardenia, the musk, the spices as well. This is definitely one of those fragrances that change, you know, from the, the top notes, the middle notes, and the base notes. Um, but to me, on my skin, it settles more sweet. So I definitely, now that I'm smelling it now, I smell the dark chocolate. It's funny, I'm getting a fluffy scent, almost like, a fluffy sweet not cotton candy but cotton candy at first when you first spray it, it's like oh that's fresh that's that's a fresh patchouli with a dash of fruit okay but then as it dries down it gets sweeter and sweeter and sweeter and but it's not offensive either it's like the right amount of patchouli and gardenia and I get more cherry strawberry and raspberry and vanilla and spice more than the chocolate note. I guess because real dark chocolate, it's it's very strong. Like as far as strong, I mean it's not sweet like milk chocolate. I could definitely see why it's called modest pour femme dough. Definitely feminine. Okay, so we have our last and final fragrance of the night. Our last fragrance is called Confidential. Private Gold Ede Parfume by Latafa. Another Latafa banger, okay? So this one, I literally, I literally got in the mail two days ago. <laughs> yeah, well, I was like, I might as well put this on to the list of Middle Eastern fragrances that I am reviewing, right? I bought myself this for Christmas, and I was like, I might as well just review it with you guys. So when I researched it before I decided to purchase it, it was saying that it is a unisex scent. However, it has fruity notes in it. Like I said, I've already smelt it when I first got it. It definitely can go either way. I had my brother and my father to smell it as well for a male's perspective. And they said it smelled so good to them. So I feel like they would probably wear it or maybe layer it with something more masculine and make sure you know it doesn't smell as fruity but it's not as fruity as the one i said i wore on my birthday which is the ajwa by latafa i also noticed that the dry down on the private gold by latafa more saffrony now I, we're going to get into the notes to see if it really does have saffron in it but it dries down less fruitier at first you're going to get that fruit and then it's gonna give you some more fruit. You're trying to figure out which fruit it is. And then the longer it stays on the skin and projects, then you get more uh, non-fruity notes. Okay, so I wanna show you guys the packaging. You already know. I don't even have to say anything. Look at this packaging. Look at this. Like, are you kidding me? You see like the detailing? I don't know if you can even see the detailing, but it's like, it's snakeskin or it's say gold or something. Latafa emblem on top of the packaging, then the side, the back, and then the back of it says confidential and it has the seal right there. And then the front. Okay, so you open it in this box like this. I did do a TikTok on it, so make sure you guys follow my TikTok. I'm gonna leave it right here, and I'm also gonna leave it down below in the description box. All of these fragrances will be linked down below. They're also in my Amazon storefront as well, so you have all of these fragrances all right there at your fingertips. Now look at this packaging, you guys. I wanna know if all the perfume lovers find this bottle to look very familiar. Do you guys know? A, they say allegedly this is a dupe for Tiziana Terenzi's Kirk and if you guys know I'll insert a picture right here 
you know the packaging is spot on a little bit however it's a minor you know differences in the packaging but like I said this is a spot on dupe for that so it made me want to purchase it open it it's very sturdy too the top is very sturdy and then that's the knob just because I said it's a dupe for Tiziana Sorenzi's Kirk, I, you know, went and did some research to see, you know, how much the Tiziana Sorenzi's Kirk fragrance was. And so their price is starting at $225, ranging all the way to $265. Confidential's private gold price is $25.48. The package is stunning. It's all gold. It's heavy, very dense, not flimsy. The tight, the top is tight on. It's not a flimsy top. It doesn't shake. You don't have to worry about the product spilling out or anything. $25 and change. If it is a dupe, like they're saying, like I said, I haven't smelled Tiziana Terenzi's Kirk, but all the perfume girls on TikTok are saying that it's a very spot on dupe. Let's get it into the notes. They state that this is a deep oud centric perfume for men and women. Definitely an uplifting, long lasting fragrance. The top notes offers a sweet fruity blend of peaches. It, it definitely peaches. Peaches, passion fruit, pears, raspberry, cassis, and sand. It has lily of the valley, which adds floral notes to the middle, the velvety base of musk, vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, heliotrope, and those base notes closes it out harmoniously. I attest to that it's not to be played with. It is very boss-like, very rich vibes. I've been saying that this whole video, but I would not lie to you guys. All of these fragrances are something that you have to wear with confidence even the one i said that was very flirty flirty and fruity the one i wore on my birthday it still had this rich essence to it that you just have to you know be that girl that guy to wear these like you have to have that type of confidence not saying that people that don't wear this don't but these will have you feeling like I'm that person, okay? I'm that big of a deal. I do want to compare it to Tiziana Terenzi's Kirk um, perfume notes. So let's see. Oh, Tiziana Terenzi's notes say that this is a lush bouquet of, of sweet fruit, including passion fruit, raspberries, pears. Um, this juicy scent is worn by sweet, indulgent heliotrope flowers and have a base of sensual musk. So, their top notes have passion fruit, peach, raspberry, cassis, pears, warm sand, lily of the valley, heliotrope, sandalwood, vanilla, patchouli, and musk. So, comparing the two, it sounds the same because they have lily of the valley as well, musk, vanilla, and sandalwood, and patchouli as well, and cassis, and all the other fruits that they both include. As y'all can see, like, oh my gosh. It smells literally like peach rings. Like, me and my mom was trying to figure out what this smelled like because it, it gives something. And we finally realized it smelled like peach rings, like the candy peach rings. But now that I'm reviewing the notes with you guys, I, I can tell, I can smell the pear as well i definitely smell the pear but the peaches and the passion fruit smell are very strong in here and not strong in a bad way like they're very prominent notes but more so of the peach i smell the raspberry too it's not like artificial raspberry it's definitely like a real um bouquet of fruit a bouquet full of fruit like sweet fruit this smells so, so good, so good. So that leads me to say about the seasons of this fragrance. This is definitely something you can wear in the summer, in the spring, okay? Night or day. Definitely something you can wear at brunch. Like I said, I always refer back to Ajwa because it's the, this fragrance in Ajwa by Latafa, they're more on the fruity side. More so the other ones are more on the 
the chocolate deep rich side these are more on the um fruity side so so yeah i definitely can see this being worn in the daytime and even at nighttime too in the summer and the spring however i will wear this now too I would wear this now if I was going to brunch here in December and I live in the South, I would wear it too. I, I definitely would. I definitely get this as a daytime scent, but more so the hotter months rather than the colder months. But you can wear this all year round. Did you buy this? Absolutely. You better get your hands on this fragrance here and have it now so when spring and summer come around you will already have it okay you already know what it smells like before anybody else get their hands on it and it becomes more and more popular it's already popular on perfume talk but yes it's very it smells so good and i would rate this a nine out of ten but none of them fell under an eight and that should tell you something. So I wanted to do a thing where I rate um, which one I like the most and which one I like the least, which is gonna be very hard for me to be honest because all of them are so good, which is why I had all of them in my Amazon card, you know, on my wish list. But I will say my most favorite one is definitely Ajwa by Latafa. But the least favorite will probably have to be to be oud mood by the top of. um only because if you guys noticed by this whole video watching me <laughs> for these few minutes that i love i love the sweeter side of fragrances even though uh oud mood is a sweet fragrance it has the amber the resins the caramel in it it's like the masculine version of shagaf oud to me and to other people as well that i saw before i actually uh, consider buying Oud Mood, they were saying that as well. It's just more on the masculine side. Now, what I would do is I've worn it by itself before, but I've also layered Oud Mood with something sweet too. So it could blend harmoniously on the sweeter side. So I don't hate it because notice I didn't rate it under an 8 out of 10. But however, it's just more on the masculine side, you know. But like I said, it is a unisex scent. They made it to be unisex, so you need all of these in your, your perfume collection because you never know what you want to reach for, what you want to mix, and what you have and don't have, right? So, with that being said, I hope you guys love this perfume review of the Middle Eastern fragrances I've purchased and reviewed and hauled for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been so long since I did an actual perfume video for you guys. If you haven't checked out my first uh, perfume haul that I did on alt fragrances for dupes of other popular name brand well-known fragrances, tune into that one, that video after this one. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching and make sure you comment, like, and most definitely subscribe for the new year. It will be much more videos, much more hauls and perfume content. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.